सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अमेजिंग प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर सी गाइस दैट्स माय कंपोजिशन राइट इट्स लुकिंग रियली ब्यूटीफुल एंड गाइस आल्सो आई शो यू माय रेंडर प्रीव्यू या सी गाइस दैट्स माय ब्यूटीफुल रेंडर एंड बैकग्राउंड लाइटिंग एंड इट्स माय 3D प्लांट मॉडल एंड आल्सो गाइस इट्स माय क्लॉथ इफेक्ट माय क्लॉथ इज लुकिंग रियली ब्यूटीफुल राइट and now guys i will teach you how to create this type of composition and also guys you can download this project file from this one this my project file so you can download on here and see guys that's my all 3d model project file right it's my 3d product design animation so you can download and support for me okay so guys now go to on here file and i create new project and guys select all and press delete key so firstly guys i am going to take a plane so go to on here and plane check and increase plane size so guys x i like 6 and y 3 and 6 yeah and next one guys make editable so select this edge guys i apply this time loop cut slice and go to on mid so enter so press 7 this is my top view panel and next one guys select all and right click you subdivided so number subdivided i like 50 yeah 50 is good for me this my for cloth right okay so now next step guys i apply 3d model so use blender kit add on so type perfume yeah this my 3d perfume model so guys you can use free 3d model yeah i like this one right so simple select yes see guys that's my 3d model and now guys i increase scale size so scale size increase and more yeah that's it see guys that's my 3d model and now guys firstly i create position animation so see guys that's my location so go to on up this one and guys little bit more like a Three, yes, and guys, now I increase frame. So frame three hundred frame is good for me. And see, guys, that's my location. So Z, I like three, and check. And now, guys, go to like a one fifty frames, one fifty, and position go to down more like this minus two point five. Yes, and check. Yeah, that's it, guys. So play. Yeah, it's my simple location animation. and also guys i create rotation animation so select and go to on here guys i create rotation like this so simple check on one frame and go to last and type 360 and check yeah that's it so guys go to back and play okay so guys now go to on here this my wireframe and also play yes perfect right it's my first basic animation and now guys i create cloth effect on this one so select this one and go to on here and guys i apply cloth and cloth check so quality step guys i like 10 for more smoothness realistic cloth effect and go to on here catch so guys catch it i like 300 enter so guys go to on here collision collision i like 6 and self collision check yes and guys see that's my friction i like one yes and lastly guys go to on here this my field width so gravity i like zero and now guys select this one this my 3d model and also i apply collision effect so collision check select this one this my cap and collision check and play guys take a little bit time for baking right see guys that's my beautiful effect so guys stop and right click select this one this my cloth and shade smoother yes and now next one guys little bit create front so guys go to back and go to on here this my 3d model so press 7 and little bit front so go to on here and little bit front like this this my y axis this one like a minus 0.3 yeah and guys little bit more like a minus 0.4 yes good and now 
guys one more time play see guys that's my beautiful cloth effect and next one select this plane and press one so shift d duplicate so guys go to down this one minus 0 0.5 this my z1 and guys more select and again shift d so guys like a minus one and lastly guys one more time and down so guys same so z minus 1.5 yeah perfect right see guys that's my cloth okay so guys now i create simple baking so go to one here and see guys that's my bake or dynamic check Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. Now I will show you my animation. So play, so closer. Yes, great. Right, see guys, that's my cloth animation. But guys, one problem, my cloth is overlapping each other. Right, my cloth is overlapping. So now guys, I will fix. Don't worry, it's really simple. And one more time, I show you my preview. So closer. Yeah, cloth is overlapping. So don't worry. So go to and back. And now guys delete all bake check. So next step, guys select all clothes. Select all clothes. So press control J. So press simple control J check. Yeah, that's it. Right. It's really simple. Select all clothes and press control J. And one more time, go to on here. Bake all dynamic check. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. And now, guys, I show you my preview and play. Yes, perfect. Right? So, guys, it's my really cool animation. So, guys, my cloth is not overlapping each other. And now, guys, next step, I apply subdivision surface. So, go to on here and go to on this one. This is my subdivision surface. And level I like two. Yes, that's it. One more time, play. Okay, so guys, my cloth dynamic animation is perfect. And next one, guys, I create beautiful composition. Stop. And now, guys, press burn and go to on here. Select this one. And I create plane for background. And plane size I will increase. So go to on here and increase plane size. Yes, more. Yeah, good. And now, guys, duplicate. So, shift D and rotate. So, rotate 90 and go to unpack. Yes, good. Right? So, guys, that's my composition. Okay, so now, next step, guys, I apply camera. So, guys, new. And, guys, now, I create camera animation. So, go to on here, camera. And, guys, set your camera angle. So 90, 0 and 0 and go to on back here. So press 0 for camera and guys set your camera angle. Go to on up like this, like a 4.5. Yes. And closer like a minus 15. Yes. And check. So guys go to like a 150 and zag dash 6 change like this. Yeah, perfect. Right. And now, guys, check all. Yes. That's it. So, guys, play. Okay. So, guys, my work is good. And now, next step. Guys, I apply this time 3D plant model and background. So, stop. And now, next step. Guys, I create new collection. Select this collection. And, guys, I apply 3D plant model. Guys, don't worry. I provide all model in my project file select and apply and go to on press 7 this is my top view panel and increase scale size yes and guys now next step rotate your model like this yeah like a 70 go to on here yes and shift d and guys apply on this my right side so rotation change Yes, perfect. So press 0 
and guys attach on this flow select and attach so press one and guys now little bit increase and attach yes perfect so press one so press zero yeah this is my simple composition okay so now next one guys i apply material so guys use blender kit add on and type gold enter so guys i apply gold material on plant 3d model it's looking really luxurious effect and guys apply so go to on here this my texture select this one and also this my gold material select and same gold and select this one yeah perfect right and next one guys i apply material for this one this my flow select and apply yeah so guys click on here and guys now next step a uh, little bit change this one this my wave effect so guys go to on here shading and firstly guys see that's my scale i like four four yeah four is good so press zero yes and four so guys apply same material on this one this is my background go to on here yes that's it right and guys now next one guys i don't need roughness see guys, that's my roughness i don't need this roughness so simple uncheck select yeah that's it okay so now next one guys my composition is perfect so select this one and i apply silk material cloth silk material like this this is my silk material so i apply blue select and apply good see guys that's my composition right okay so guys now next step i apply lighting so firstly guys i use hdri light so go to on here and environment texture so guys select this one this is my environment texture light hdri so open and guys now next step guys i change render setting so guys go to on here and i like cycle device gpu check so guys best amp is 512 512 but this my only tutorial part so half 256 256 yeah right but you should take a minimum 512 okay so now guys go to on here yes perfect right and guys geometry uncheck yes see guys that's my beautiful composition and now guys i apply lighting so guys firstly i create light for this one this my background background light so create new collection okay so guys select this one create new collection and go to on here and this my light area light and guys i increase this one and power power i like 600 and color i like blue 0.6 and 1 yes and size increase and also guys this my shape so use disk yes and apply on back side go to on here and rotate your light so rotation like this yes good and guys rotation more and little bit up yeah yes good see guys that's my lighting position and guys now next step go to on here shading and select this one this my use node check see guys that's my light animation so as a last tutorial guys press control t and i apply this time texture see guys that's my lighting texture so open and guys go to on here this my strength i like 40 and go to on here this my layout so press 0 so click on here this my final render preview yes but guys not correct my lighting is not correct so go to on here and see guys that's my size i like 20 and guys see that's my spread i like 0.5 yes perfect guys i apply 0.5 spread and strength 40 is good okay so guys set your lighting and set your light like this yes perfect so press go to on back press camera closer yeah good 
good one here. Yes. See, guys, that's my perfect background lighting. Right? It's looking really beautiful. Okay, so guys, now next step, I create lighting for product. So select this collection. And guys, firstly, I apply top light. So area light check and off. So guys, power 100 is good. 100. And size increase like a 5. Yes. And press 7. So guys, go to on here. This for my top view. Yes. And little bit increase scale size. So we go to on here. So Y axis. So Z axis increase. Yes. Perfect. Right. This my top view. And now guys, again shift D. So guys, next light. I apply on this one. This my plant 3D model. So same. And axis 1. So go to on here. Yes. And again shift D. And go to on here. This light for my plant 3D model. Yes. Good. Right. And guys, next step. Select this light. And shift D. Guys, I apply side light. And press 1. Go to on here. This my side light. And rotate. So rotate Y axis like a 90 and go to back. Yes, perfect. And little bit back more. Okay, so guys press 7 and go to unmade. Yes, good. Okay, so guys now next one again shift D. Go to on here and like a minus 90. Yes, perfect. Right, see guys, that's my lighting. And lastly guys, I apply front light. So select this one and this my for front light. So guys rotate. So 0 and press 7. So rotation change like this 90. Yeah, perfect. And little bit increase scale size like a 7. Yes. See guys, that's my final lighting, right? I apply lighting for all product 3D model. So press 0. And now next step guys. I show you my render preview. Render. Render image check. Yeah. Beautiful guys. See that's my beautiful render. Right. My composition is really beautiful. Right. Okay. So guys my work is finished. Lastly guys go to on here. FPS 30. And this is my output. Render output. So go to a desktop and create new folder. And take any file name. Accept check. Yeah. That's it. And go to on here. This my front light. This one. This my front light. And go to on here. And multiple import uncheck. Yes. Right. I apply this one. Uncheck this one. Multiple. And guys select this one. Okay. Yeah. All is good. Okay. So guys that's it. My final work is finished. So guys if you like my video please share. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys also you can download this project file. Link in description. Thank you.